Welcome back. We go now to Malaysia for the families of the 239 people who disappeared along with Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. Debris found overnight is offering a small glimmer of hope for closure. But the news doesn't resolve the most pressing question about the doomed flight. How can an advanced aircraft simply disappear from view? Iman Siksik looks at the history of similar incidents and how the rapid evolution of aviation safety has left the pilots at the wheel behind. On March 8th last year, Malaysia Air Flight 370 was making its way from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing on what was meant to be a commonplace six-hour trip. 239 passengers and crew were aboard the craft all of whom would go missing for over 500 days in what became one of the greatest mysteries in aviation history. On Tuesday night, search teams who spent 15 months in a nearly hopeless pursuit of the plane that vanished from the skies finally found the first pieces of what used to be flight MH370. It's the first uh, real evidence that there is a possibility that a part of the aircraft may have been found. Uh, it's too early to make that judgment, uh, but clearly we are treating this as a, as, a, as a major lead. No clear judgment yet and no answers as to what happened to flight MH370. But its disappearance from radars last year, the only such case involving a Boeing 777, has awakened uncertainty over the increasingly advanced protocols of aviation. Unexplained crashes are relatively rare, but when they occur, miscommunication seems to be one unifying factor. In March of 1977, two massive Boeing 747s from Pan Am and KLM were preparing to take off on the runway of the Tenerife Airport in the Spanish Canary Islands. The KLM craft began speeding down the runway under heavy fog, but a series of misunderstandings with air mission controllers meant that the crew was unaware of the most crucial and deadly circumstance. The Pan Am flight was still on the same runway. The collision, a result of misinterpretation of commands on advanced radio systems, remains the worst in aviation history to this day. 583 people were killed. But even as late as 2009, mysterious plane crashes continued to perplex investigators. Air France Flight 447 crashed in the Atlantic Ocean on June 1st that year, killing 228 passengers en route from Brazil to Paris. The investigation, which began two years later when the black boxes were recovered, found that failures in airspeed measurements led to the disconnection of the modern aviator's most trusted companion, the autopilot, the control system designed to relieve pilots from manually operating the plane. Since its introduction in the 1930s, the autopilot has evolved into a monitoring system so advanced that it makes several aspects of human pilots obsolete. For the two pilots in charge of AF-447, this dependency meant disaster. Having lost the autopilot, the crew responded incorrectly, and the craft plummeted from the sky. But for the families of the victims, there is little consolation in these answers. Is that they still have provided absolutely no proof or substantiation to their declaration. Just a few months ago, they were saying that they believed the flight was under the control of a hijacker. So how is it all of a sudden now an accident? Questions around the fate of the Malaysia air flight linger on. And though Tuesday's findings bring investigators one step closer to an explanation, full answers lie unattainable with the crew and passengers of MH370 at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. And Ayman Siksek joins me now. Ayman, good evening. Good evening, Nuit. I want to begin with the families because just seeing that uh, statement we just heard, it reminds me of the days after, the months after, and the families the treatment of them and the communication and this was one of the top complaints that the communication to families and the explanation of what happened if even in the beginning if their loved ones were dead or alive was really problematic and this offers some hope 
Well, very little hope, I would say, even very little consolation. The, the reports they received throughout this year or 15 months were extremely conflicting. As we just heard in the story, at first they said it was a hijacker. Later on, terrorism was also raised as a possibility. You remember later on that year, MH17 was shot down over Ukraine. Right. People started to speculate that this is what happened to MH370 as well. So a lot of uh, added stress and drama to this tragedy already, and now with the first remains possibly of this flight being found, even more questions are raising and the, the hope of ever finding the bodies is uh, still a big question. And at this point also, they're just simply investigating at this point, likely, they say extremely likely that it is part of the Boeing 77, but no clear answers on that yet. No clear answers on that yet. It is likely that it, it is an accident now that they found some parts of the plane. And I think what that shows us here is the conflict of progress, really. And as we've seen with uh, uh, the flight, the Air France flight 447, uh, the autopilot was shut down in this yes. incident, which is supposed to make flights safer, ironically. But when pilots are not as advanced or not as uh, smart, even in some way, as the computers running the plane, this is what happens. Right. This was something that was brought up back in the Air France uh, crash, where you have planes that, uh, as you say, are so far advanced and the automation is so extreme that the, the pilots maybe aren't getting the proper training. Hopefully, in this case, actually something will be learned in the end after uh, the debris is traced to actually improve aviation safety. I'm Ansik Sik. Thanks very much for being with me.